race number five. Tonight's fifth race is the first elimination of the Pride of Ohio Philly Trot, three-year-old of Philly Trotters. Racing one mile, a purse of $12,522, and the first three official finishers will return for race number 10. Here's the lineup. The one is a diadem filly, owned by David and Joyce, Saberger of Salem, Ohio, Robert Corey Sr., the trainer. She with a three-year-old record of two minutes and three at the Meadows, earnings of $45,000. Charlie Norris driving just a Cheryl. Vatu is a Mr. Kingfish filly, owned by Leroy Amos of Navarre and Ed Thomas of North Canton, Ohio. Ed Thomas is the trainer with a two-year-old bust of 202 and two here at Decider Downs, earnings of $25,000. Dave Miller driving Splash Mania. The three, a daughter of Omro Iliad, owned by Paul Lane of Zanesville, Lloyd Hawk, the trainer, with a mark of 204 and 1, earnings of $7,400 coming in from Piketon with two consecutive victories there, 6 of 18 this year. Bill Lilly is driven by Dave Hawk. The four is a Tabor Lobel filly, and then trained by Chad Williamson of Wilshire, Ohio, with a three year old record of 2 minutes and 3 here at the side of Downs, earnings of $23,000. Coming in from the hop, it's Dinah Wick with Jay Cross. The five is another Andrew Elliott filly. Thomas Sturgeon Loman of Bainbridge and uh, Miller of Lantham of Ohio. Jim Arledge is the uh, trainer. A three-year-old bounce, 202, earnings of $11,000. Coming in from Washington Courthouse, Jeff Fout driving Hills Sassy Sis. From post six is an Arnie's Exchange filly owned by Monica Wolf of Milan, Michigan. Dave Wolf is the trainer. With a three-year-old bust at Raceway Park, two minutes and three, earnings $28,000. Off a winning qualifier, Arnie's message tonight driven by Dr. David Wolf. And the seven is an overcomer filly owned by Richard Elwood of Lancaster, Ohio. Rick Hartman trains with a mark of 159 and two, earnings of $12,000. Coming in from Washington Courthouse, Miss Sensation for driver Brad Hanners. One play show perfecta and a trifecta wagering. First elimination, a three-year-old of Philly Trotters are lining up and moving in. The gate swings into the back stretch for the start. And there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Balili, the first to leave from the outside in second. It's Arnie's message from off the rail. Quickly comes just to Cheryl, looking to drop into fourth. Splash Mania. At the rail and racing at five, it's Dinah Wick, and uh, off stride goes Hill Sassy Sis. Miss Sensation is now away sixth as they approach the first quarter mile marker. Balili with the lead, but now with an early quarter move comes just to Cheryl. As Norris brings it to the outside with a quarter move, and Justice Cheryl now quickly takes the lead. The opening quarter, 29 seconds. Justice Cheryl now with the lead. Balili will give it up for cover second. Arnie's message is left uncovered. Parked to the outside third. Splash Mania a tight fourth. And Dinah Wick coming to the outside now. Five will take cover, but is gapping three lengths. At the middle and sixth, Miss Sensation, and far back the trailer heels sassy since they move into the clubhouse turn and approach the half. And it's just a Cheryl, the leader here, and she's odds on favorite at six to five. Takes him to the half in 59 and two. Arnie's message on the outside, trots second with Balili. Sitting the pocket patiently, third, Dinah Wick. Drafting with cover is fourth. Splash Mania is locked in tight fifth. And Miss Sensation is now putting it into gear as she comes to the outside and gets underway sixth. They trot down the back stretch, and the good. The speed duo continues in the front here. Just to Cheryl and Arnie's message is pushing her the entire way. But Lily at the rail and Dinah Wick will have to go three wide here. Around tiring cover, three quarters, 129 and three. Midway through that final turn and it's just to Cheryl. But Lily slipping up the inside is now waiting for racing room. And to the outside, Arnie's message is tiring. Here comes Dinah Wick and here comes Miss Sensation with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come and on the front just to Cheryl but Dinah Wick is coming to her between them is Arnie's message and she's still there but it's Dinah Wick who draws clear Miss Sensation getting up for second and what an effort from Arnie's message who hangs on for third
Trackside in the winner's circle, the winner of the first elimination, uh, Pride of Ohio Philly Trot, number four, Dinah Weck, a Tabor Lobel Philly, from the Diamond Exchange Mare, Diamond Dinah. Owned and trained by Chad Williamson of Wilshire, Ohio, nicely handled by Jay Cross. Dinah Weck recording her third win of the season, her second consecutive here at Sayada Downs, and that is a career mark for her, the mile in two minutes and two fifths.